We just arrived in Bangkok and it's our first time trying how it is to live here. We will stay for 10 days and have a budget of $1,000 so we will show you what kind of lifestyle you can get with that kind of money here. Thailand is quite affordable destination but Bangkok is known to be a little bit more expensive but still many people seem to love this place and as we are used to only island living we are super excited to try living in a big city like Bangkok. So already half of our $1,000 budget went to this place. We wanted to have the full Bangkok experience so we chose a place with the rooftop pool and really nice amenities and we will show that soon. We already yesterday has been here for sunset and there's also steam saunas here so it's so relaxing and nice experience. And I think it's really cool to have this space because we don't need to spend a crazy amount of money for drinks in a sky bar to see a nice city view for sunset. And this building also has so many spaces to chill here and co-working and everything so we will show around a little bit. This is one of the nice places they have here and yet this condo building is so awesome. It's not only the apartment you have here, there's so many nice spaces to chill work there's gym there's some games stay tuned for the rest of the building and apartment or later in this video it's nice in Bangkok that there's so many of these new apartment buildings that has this amazing view Okay guys, we are going for lunch and it's a little bit difficult to go around here. We are in a really central location, there's metro and there's some malls here, but all the restaurants in this Sukhumvit area, there's so many nice vegan restaurants, they are a little bit further away, so it's 20 minutes walk to the closest ones. Or we can take a grab, but that's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but basically our legs are already killing us. We took a grab because we're tired of walking, but yeah, it's like extra 200 baht for just going to eat, so a little bit too expensive. We got the food, it's looking good. Falafel pita and smoothie bowl. And the place is really nice. Looks so nice to have garden outside also. The food is nice and there's so many options in Bangkok, but coming from Bali it feels a little bit expensive. And as we don't have scooter, we're probably gonna be ordering most of the time because it's kind of hustle and cost money to come to eat somewhere. We do grab back home and in the evening we wanna try a local night market because it's much more affordable and also Thai food is so good. And we bought a lot of food from the supermarket so we will be cooking home also sometimes to save some money. So yeah, earlier today we walked like 10 minutes to Lotus. It was actually really big Lotus in this mall and there was so many options for fruits and vegetables and vegan stuff and pretty much anything and then we needed to take a grab home because we have so much stuff we really want to walk back we spent like 60 euros for everything we bought a lot of drinks and fruits and everything and also some frozen vegan thing like edamame and vegan nuggets and some meals and uh, some more fruits avocado granola nuts towel like a lot of different kind of things so we will cook a few times and we have a lot of snacks basically everything we need for 10 days. Okay guys, we are at the gym now. So this is pretty cool place. They have quite big gym. So there's a lot you can do here. And everything is with this amazing view. You can see the pool a little bit from here and the it in the background. And it's basically 360 views. There's some curtains, but it's really cool. And as the building is brand new, all the equipment is brand new also. And there's rarely anybody here, so it's really nice. And the other side of the gym, there's more weights here. It's not like a perfect gym, but there's like almost everything we would ever need for a gym. So for a building gym, it's pretty cool. And of course, it's nice to save some money with. Like we don't need to pay for gym membership when we have this. Definitely gonna be coming here almost every day. Next our plan is to go to a local night market close by. But before that I was super excited to try a Thai massage in Bangkok. My experience actually wasn't so good. It cost 600 baht that it was more expensive than I'm used to in Thailand. The place was also a little bit not so clean. But this night market is pretty awesome. There's so much here. There's so many people though. <laughs> we got some mango sticky rice and our favorite juice in Thailand. We were a little bit surprised by the prices. The mango sticky rice was 100 but quite much more expensive than we experienced before in Thailand. But maybe it's because this night market was more touristic place. Good morning guys, today is really exciting days. We are going to the center of Bangkok and check one mall that is supposed to be like super super insane and also go by the river and check one cultural thing there and some temples and stuff so super excited for that. The taxi all the way to the center is kind of expensive so we're not gonna go there. There's metro station, we don't really know how it works so we will show if we can figure how we can get to the center with that. We walked to the metro station it was actually quite easy to figure out. There was information ticket office and we asked him how can we get to the end destination and they explained to us that we need to go with metro and then change in a specific station to a sky train. It was very easy and the metro was quite comfortable and then we just changed 
to the sky train so the total cost of all the tickets and my favorite iced tea was only four dollars so that was quite nice and the sky train was actually quite insane it was so nice views and so comfortable and modern and everything so we were super happy with this and it was quite nice experience to travel to the center with this way and our friend gave us an awesome tip that if we just go to this top taxin station we can just take this free shuttle boat to the mall from that station by the river so that was really nice also This mall is pretty awesome, there's huge food market and the mall generally is so big and there's so much to do here and nice views to the city. We took a mango sticky rice that was so good and also we eat in a Thai restaurant and the food was surprisingly good here but a little bit pricey. And now it's finally time to see the most famous temple in Bangkok, we're super excited and we took this nice affordable 10 minutes boat drive there. The temple is really cool and after that we got a chance to get a tuk-tuk first time ever back to the mall. And we did some more shopping and bought a few things before it was time to go back home. We took a grab drive back to Sukhumvit close to us to try this well-reviewed vegan restaurant. And we were lucky because it happened to be buy one get one pizza night because the restaurant was quite expensive so we saved some money. And now it's time for a room tour. You saw the rooftop that is really really awesome. So let us show you the apartment now. We were just talking that this apartment is super super basic but it's really nice we have been super happy with it we wish there was more options like this because there's everything we basically need there's kitchen even if it's not big we can cook here comfortably it's really nice there's dining table sofa it's really nice to have so many different areas to chill and there's table for working it's really comfortable we have pretty nice city views from the balcony but the balcony itself is a little bit useless because of the AC machine blowing air so it's not comfortable to be here but for laundry it's perfect race has been really hyped about uh, being able to do laundry by ourselves and this is the bedroom it's again quite basic there's nice views big windows and uh, bed that is quite comfortable but not the best decoration here for us. If we stay more long term here, of course, it would be really nice to decorate this apartment. And the bathroom also is really basic, but it's comfortable. Everything we need. And there's quite much closet space. So yeah, $500 for 10 days for this apartment itself wouldn't be worth it for sure. But for the rooftop and everything, and also it's a really nice location. I, I feel like it's a pretty nice price for this and we are super happy with it. And if you're enjoying the video so far, I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe. And this whole area here is full of these different spots where you can chill. It's really nice to have the opportunity to walk here in the morning and see the sunlight and everything because there's not really nice place in the city to go walk around here. And this is one of our favorite spaces here there's so much to do here <laughs> a lot of people love to do co-working here and there's so many different spaces for that this place is also really nice there's nice views and billiard we can come here to play whenever we want there's some foosball tables too and the views are just so nice from up here it's really cool we ordered acai bowls for sunset the bowls look good but 11 dollars for two kind of small smoothie bowls but it's actually really good they have the real acai here so pretty impressed by that but yeah the food is kind of expensive here everything is like 10 to 20 dollars so for asia it's kind of expensive but the food is still really good and there's so many options and i think we still have some money on our budget so i'm just gonna include our flights here too so from bali to bangkok direct flights was around 200 dollars for both of us so not too bad price it's nice to travel in asia all the flights are quite affordable anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and got a good idea what you can get with your money in bangkok thanks for watching and see you next week